Hello everybody, my name is Tyler and I am Nekumor on YouTube. I am a retro video game collector and reviewer. And today I wanted to, I guess, show you guys an app that I found that has helped me catalog my retro video game collection. Um, I wanted to share it with people, see if it was something that there might be some interest in. Um, <clears throat> the app is called Snups and I'm gonna go ahead and put it up on the screen for you right now here. Um, so what you're seeing is my Snups profile. Uh, but before we get into it, what is Snups? Well, it's an app that was designed with the collector in mind. Uh, it's basically Instagram if Instagram had folders. But uh, in this case, Snups calls their folders shelves. Um, and as you can see here, I have all of my retro video games, well, I guess all my video games, uh, shelved up and organized by platform or system. Um, and what I found is that this app is particularly useful for A, cataloging, and B, showing off the collection uh, in a manner other than just having them all grouped together on Instagram in one spot, or taking that nice big picture of the collection all shelved up that a lot of us like to do. Um, so I, I found that this is a, a much more, a much simpler way to, I guess, have everything on display individually. Uh, as you can see here, the this is my NES shelf. Um, I'm not going to go through everything, obviously, but uh, it's really nice and easy. And of course, you can sort it by title to um, make it even easier to see what's on individual shelves. Um, that's one. Snups is still kind of a new app, and that's one thing I wish they would change is that um, <clears throat> after you upload a whole bunch of items to your shelves, to give you the option to sort within the shelf itself to have it automatically uh, sort alphabetically. Um, it's one thing I wish they would add. And uh, Snups, as far as I know, is still relatively new, so uh, it's still you know being worked on and all that good stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, you don't have to be a video game collector to be on Snups. You could collect baseball cards, Hot Wheels cars, and spoons, <laughs> you know, for all I care. Uh, as far as I know, there's no limit to how many shelves you can have, so the bigger the collection, the better. Like, you'll see I have, like, one for the fan art stuff, which is just getting started. I've got my plushies, Funkos, Amiibo, Pokemon cards, etc. Um, and as you can see, I have a lot of shelves, and there's a lot of games here. Um, <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie. It did take me a few hours to get everything uploaded and, you know, categorized. Um, but, you know, now that I'm, now when I get more games, it's, it's going to take me no time at all just to add, add them to here. Um, another good thing about categorizing video games is, uh, gods forbid that someone breaks into your house and steals a whole bunch of your games, and maybe you have a lot of them and you don't have an exact Excel spreadsheet or a list or something somewhere. Well, if you have them all on the app, it's really easy to just go in and see, oh, well, this is what's missing. Um, and that's something I always, I always preach to people who are getting into video game collecting. Account for everything, categorize everything, you know, have a list somewhere. So, you know, you'll know what, what you're missing should something happen. Um, better safe than sorry, right? Uh, so, I'll show you quickly um, how easy it is to use the app itself. Um, as you can see, we're on the My Stuff page, and you can rearrange your shelves any way you want if you need to. Um, I'm not going to because I did all that yesterday. But um, here I have a copy of Jet Force Gemini on the N64, and I want to add this game to my N64 collection, or my shelf. You, you'll see it's already there, but I'm just doing it. It's the game that I had in Reach, so... Uh, what we're gonna do, don't look at my laundry, what are you doing? Uh, so, like I said, it's it's very similar to Instagram. So it, this isn't gonna, if you've been on any type of social media at any point, this is not gonna look any different. Let's just, I'm gonna take a few of the same pictures. Um, you can upload multiples at the same time, but since I only have this one game on here, we're gonna pretend these games are different. So we have all of our pictures of the games that we wanna add to our shelf. We're gonna go ahead and click next. And this is Jet Force Gemini. You'll be able to uh, name it. Click next. If I, my fat thumb could poke it. Uh, Glover. Uh, I don't know. NBA Jam. N64 version, which doesn't exist, I don't think. You get the idea. So you can go ahead, name everything. 
hit done, and it's going to add all of these games to the top of your list. Uh, I'm gonna delete these real quick though because there's no reason for me to have five games, five pictures of the same game of which three of the names are wrong. And then, like I said, once you're done, it'll appear at the top of your shelf. It's super easy. And then there you go. Um, like Instagram, you'll have followers, you'll have people watching your shelves. So every time you add something new, they'll be able to see it and wow it, which is this app's version of liking. Um, they can leave comments just like pretty much any other social media app out there. Um, <clears throat> and of course, there are groups. Uh, you can see I'm in like the, I've been invited to the most wowed uh, camera collectors. I don't know why camera collectors actually. That's weird. When you sign up for Snups for the first time, they ask you like a few of the things that you're interested in, and they pre-add you to some of the larger groups. So maybe that's where that came from. Uh, but you know, I'm in retro game collectors games. Um, up here is the Collectors of Central New York, which is a Snups group that I created um, for video game collectors uh, or anything nerdy really. Uh, and I, of course, invite all of you to join if you decide to start a Snups account. Um, I think it's really cool. Uh, and of course, it's not a, it's not limited only to people in Central New York. That's just where I'm. That's where I'm living. That's where I'm from. So it's where I, uh, it's where I wanted to, what I wanted to call it and create it. Um, I made this group a little while ago, and I've been waiting for the right time to make this video, and now it seems like it. Um, so if you do decide to make a Snups account, you can find me on here at Nekumore, top left. Like I said, the app is still fairly fairly young, so it may not be perfect right now, but there's going to be a lot of time put into it. Uh, there's a lot of people on here showing off so many different collections. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me, or I'm sure you can at Snups on Twitter. Uh, for total transparency, this is a non-sponsored video at all. Um, I mean, if they want to send me some money. No, but seriously, um, <clears throat> I just wanted to share this app. I love it, and I think you will too if you're serious about collecting. So uh, take a few days, make a bunch of shelves, upload all your stuff, and uh, I hope you have fun with it. Anyway, my name is Nekumore. If you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I, like I said, I do uh, retro game reviews, commentaries, among other types of videos. Feel free to sub to me on there. Um, and I think that about covers everything that I wanted to say about Snups. So thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome. Don't do anything that I wouldn't do. And I will catch you next time.